Good morning everyone, this is Brian again. Uh, today we're going to talk about pressure washers and it's not how to fix them, but what's the difference in pressure washers? What do these numbers mean on the machines when you see them? Such as 3000 PSI or 3000 PSI, but the pump doesn't match. All right, so I had a question about what, what do these numbers mean by a viewer? And you'll see 3,000 PSI at 3 gallons a minute, or 3,000 PSI at 3.5 gallons a minute, 4,000 PSI, 4 gallons a minute. So what does that mean to you as the user? We have two identical machines. They're both um, uh, made by the same company. They both got 9 horsepower Honda motors on it, but this one has a 3,000 PSI at 3 gallons a minute. This one's 4,000 PSI at 4 gallons a minute. So what does that mean? Here you got an AR pump, model number uh, 3G30, which is 3 gallons a minute at 3,000 PSI. This one is 4,000 PSI at 4 gallons a minute. What is, which one is the best option when you go to purchase it? Now this machine here did not come with this pump. This originally came with this pump, the style pump, same pressure and same gallons per minute but it was changed over to this 4,000 PSI with four gallons a minute. Now, why would somebody do that? So you have to look at the picture as a whole. If you're gonna wash your car, you're gonna typically use a water hose because you got a lot of water at a decent pressure. You could use a pump up garden sprayer, which is higher pressure, but a lower volume of water. So your cleaning units comparable from a garden hose with tap water to a pump up garden sprayer are different. So what is cleaning units? Cleaning units would be in this situation you got three gallons a minute and 3,000 psi. So you multiply 3,000 times three which is 9,000. So you have 9,000 cleaning units with this machine. This machine is four gallons a minute at 4,000 PSI. You multiply that together and you get 16,000. So you got 16,000 cleaning units on this and you have 9,000 cleaning units on that. So how does that affect you? Again, more water volume in conjunction with higher pressure gives you more cleaning units. That's not to say a 4,000 PSI pressure washer is necessarily gonna be the choice over a 3,000 PSI pressure washer. It comes into play when your substrates vary. So if you got concrete, <clears throat> brick, and things of that nature, typically you're going to want to go with more pressure as well as more volume. Typically on a house, deck, things of that nature, 3,000 PSI at 3 to 3.5 three to gallons a minute is more than sufficient to do what you need to do. So you could have a 4,000 PSI pressure washer and let's say it's uh, two and a half gallons a minute uh, on, on the pump. So you've got a 4,000 at two and a half gallons a minute. And then you've got a 3,000 at three gallons a minute. Okay. So this is still going to have more cleaning units, but it's very similar to this 3,000 PSI. The issue is going to be is, when you're trying to clean a deck with 4,000 PSI, you got a very good chance of tearing up the deck, fraying the wood, splintering, things like that. Less of a chance with the 3,000. Now, if you were trying to clean the sidewalk, more water, more pressure. 4,000, four gallons a minute. Now, I'm not trying to confuse anyone. I'm just saying, in general, your 3,000 at three to three and a half gallons a minute is gonna be more than sufficient for your general cleaning of houses, vinyl siding, decks, and things of that nature. You don't need to jump up to 4,000, four gallons a minute. Now this one's being used for a specific type of work. So you really do need that higher pressure with higher volume. Now, with that being said, you can't go to a four gallon a minute pump if you're only able to deliver four gallons or less a minute. You got to have more delivery than what you're using. So, in other words, if you get paid at the end of the week of $500 and your bills are coming up at $600 a week, you need to find another job because $500 a week's not cutting it. Just like this is four gallons a minute, but if your delivery is four gallons or less, <clears throat> you need to find another water source or 
go to a pump that uses less gallons per minute. Your gallons per minute will also come into play when you're using things such as surface cleaners, the surface scrubbers, driveway cleaners, things of that nature. You have to have a minimum of 3,000 pounds of pressure, but most items like that require three gallons or three and a half gallons or more. So if you get a 4,000 PSI or a 3,000 PSI pressure washer that's two and a half, 2.4 gallons a minute, it's not going to operate those accessories. So you have to look at the numbers as, as a whole based on what you're trying to do or use. <clears throat> so 3,000 PSI at three gallons a minute or three and a half gallons a minute, if that's what you have, is perfectly fine for a vast majority of the cleaning most people are gonna do. If you're getting into steel, concrete, things of that nature, you've got 4,000 at four gallons, or 4,000 at four and a half, up to five in some cases, but that's what those numbers mean. Those numbers tell you exactly what your cleaning units are. The higher the cleaning units, the better the cleaning is going to be up to a point. Again, it's going to depend on what you're trying to clean. If you've got any questions or comments, please drop them in the uh, comment section below. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Be safe. Have a good day.